Here we are uh, under semi-shelter quarantine. Uh, the gym is closed. Super, super bummer. We've been scrambling to put together a plan for you guys as far as how to attack uh, home fitness. Actually hoping that you might get some of your other family members involved as well. Uh, we hope everyone is doing okay. We know there's a lot of stress. We, we certainly are feeling it. Uh, people working from home or not working, got the kids at home, you know, it's just kind of pandemonium right now, but uh, we're helping to put together a nice little plan to help alleviate some of that stress and keep you guys as healthy as we can. Whether or not you are totally freaked out by all of this or think it's a big giant waste of everybody's time and resources, we just decided that we wanted to do our best to be as socially responsible as possible. Maybe 10 years ago, we probably would have been open because we were punk rock, but uh, now we want to be you know, as responsible as we can, just so that if anything, we're not part of the problem. So here we go. All right, so here is the plan. Uh, we're gonna put out four workouts a week. We're gonna try to keep them a uh, good warm up, stretching, little bit of strength. That's gonna not be the same as what you guys are used to in the gym. We're gonna assume that you guys don't have uh, home gyms like we do here with all the cool stuff. So we're gonna try to keep it very basic, very simple. We're gonna post uh, workouts for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. We'll put up that workout the night before. And then the day of, we're gonna film a live full length follow along that will be archived. So if you happen to be able to do it uh, with us at the same time, great. Um, if not, you'll be able to go, go back and scroll through it push, play, pause as you will, but we will try to do a full length, start to finish version of it that you can follow along with. Did you say what time that was at? Uh, we'll let you guys know as far as like what times the day before, we'll, we'll try to get to somewhat of a consistent plan right now. I was thinking, Figuring it out on our toes as we go along, like I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. I was thinking we were gonna have to get around people's work schedules. I was gonna be like, but when can people do this? I guess you're always bored and yeah. have as much free time as we do, so. If you're, if you're at home and you happen to be able to follow along with us, great. If not, like I said, it'll be archived and you can access it anytime. Uh, as far as using the different social media outlets, um, we would, I know some of you guys aren't on Instagram, but now would be a great time to join. We plan to have the main discussion on the comment section there. So as far as the workout being posted on Instagram, that would be the ideal place to ask questions about scaling. Oh, my shoulder, what should I do instead? And try to get a, a nice little library of things on there that everyone else can access so they don't keep asking us the same questions. Um, the Facebook group, I'm gonna send out a link for everyone who's new, who's not in there, but the Facebook group is a great place for you guys to interact with each other. Um, it's not gonna be the main hub of the do at home workouts. Uh, but a great place for you guys to interact with each other and ask us general questions. Um, the live workouts are gonna be on an app called Periscope, so keep your eye out for an email that explains all of this and how to download and access Periscope. Our uh, account on Periscope will be just like Instagram, at Aquila Fitness, so you'll be able to find us that way. Uh, again, keep your eye out for email details later today. And we plan to have the first workout posted to Instagram today with a live version up on Periscope tomorrow. Next order of operation, I spent about 10 minutes going around the house finding heavy objects for strength training. Here's what I found pretty, pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna just kind of have Travis show you what we got here. So I got a couple stones, a small one that's probably 15 pounds. This bigger one's probably like 35 pounds. You can do some front squats. You could probably do some stiff leg deadlifts. Oh yeah, I don't think we'll be programming that one. <laughs> don't do that one. Um, stiff leg deadlifts. You could do cleans. Uh, we could even do uh, some swings with this. Uh, next we got uh, like a bucket of paint. Uh, that looks like about a three gallon bucket. Uh, keep in mind guys, we could do one arm rows. We could, you could press this. A gallon of liquid is about eight pounds. So when you're thinking of how much weight you're dealing with, just be aware of that. 
Um, I've got a little propane tank over here. Actually, this one's helium. It's not very heavy, but a lot of you guys have gas grills and a propane tank. You can do like a two-handed overhead press with that. Uh, no, I meant like a put one hand on the bottom, one hand on the handle type thing, like a tilted. Yeah, there you go. That works, something like that. Um, I got a toolbox. You could actually load this up with whatever you want. You could get this to whatever weight you feel is appropriate. Maybe you could do some sumo high pulls with it, some swings. All this stuff is gonna basically work the same way. Uh, backpack, that can be loaded up as heavy as you want. Possibly, you know, get some thick garbage bags or something like that. Maybe go fill up uh, rocks, dirt, whatever from your uh, yard and uh, load that up. Then we've got water jugs. Last I checked, these were still available. Uh, we won't upside down press the five gallon water jug, but there wow. is an option. We can swing these, we can do rows with them, three gallons, five gallons, and I've got a one gallon jug here too. So what we would love for all of you guys to do today, tomorrow if possible, is go around your house and find some things that you can use for resistance objects and post them up on Instagram. Make it fun. Tag the gym. Be creative. Uh, tag the gym at Aquila Fitness. Tag uh, Be Aquila. Uh, but post a picture of, of, of your items that you might be able to do some workouts with. And, uh, oh, also uh, we'll be utilizing broomstick. So you might want to get a broomstick. Um, if you have a jump rope, uh, a uh, like a, like a yoga mat, that would be good. If you don't have those things, now might be the time to run out and grab a few basic items. All right, guys, um, that's long enough for now. Uh, we'll be back in touch later today with the first workout and again tomorrow with the live version. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, shoot us questions, communicate with us. We'll be back in touch with you often as possible. And uh, we look forward to continuing to try to interact with you guys as much as we can during this time. We're going to get through this, guys.